Hi, I'm Simon Lizard and you're watching Spin TV. So in disc golf, there are two main types of holes. Wide open holes in the fairway with very little trees or tight wooded holes with lots of trees. Today I'm going to show you how to throw those tight tunnel gaps through the trees and be very successful doing it. First off comes the disc selection. You want to choose a very straight flying, straight finishing disc. Right here I have a KC Pro Rock that I've uh, broken in over the years to fly very, very straight. This is going to be very uh, different and very personal to you as you need to find a disc that flies very straight. You go out to the field, try it out. You might even need to break in a rock after a few years to when it really tunes in to fly exactly how you want it. But this flies very flat, very straight, finishes straight. Very important. On a hole like this, it's about 350 feet. I don't need a fairway driver at this point. I'm going to throw a rock, a nice straight mid-range. The grip, nice comfortable grip. Fingers spread out along the bottom side, a fan grip, control grip, something with good control, good accuracy, and good power. Now, obviously, I'm trying to birdie this hole. I'm trying to throw a flat, straight shot, trying to get to the basket, or as close as possible. But the main objective is making this first gap. There's one tree to the left, and there's two trees to the right. That's the main objective. I want to hit that gap and get past those trees. Next, there's another tree on the left, and then farther down, another tree on the right. That's the second objective. Obviously, you're not going to make that second gap unless you hit the first gap. So it's all about progressing down the fairway, getting to the basket, throwing that nice straight shot. While aiming, I'm focusing on an area about 5-10 feet out in front of me, a hit point, a release point, trying to get to this that point. Really focusing on that area, really trying to hone in my release and have my body follow through to that area. Follow through is very key. I'm only going to throw about 80%, maybe 75% of my power because I'm not really trying to overpower the shot. I'm not trying to kill it. I'm trying to guide it down there and throw accurately. And while I'm following through, I'm going to follow through with the rest of my body. Really follow the shot and step forward, falling off the pad, step forward and throwing the shot, guiding with the disc. Once the disc goes down there, I'm trying to follow that same line with my body. And that's how you throw the very tight, very accurate tunnel shots in the woods. 